Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, today I'm repasting my razor blade. First we need to get the um, back cover off, so that's 10 T5 screws need to come off. Uh, it's the 8750H model um, with the 2070 Max-Q. Uh, I really like it, it performs really well. Uh, I don't really need to do this, um, but I'm intrigued. I thought if I could get better performance and better thermals from such a simple process, it's got to be worth a try. So firstly, we need to disconnect the battery. Um, so I'm going to zoom in. There's a there's a tab you need to lift up, and it will it will click up quite nice. You have to pull it quite firmly, but it will click out of place nicely. There you go. And um, now we've got the ribbon cables, which are right in the way, um, need to come off. So for each of those, you need to lift a bar up. This is the one for the monitor. So you pull the yellow tape up and lift the bar up and out anti-clockwise. And then pull the cable horizontally. The smaller one you can see there, there's a, I, I can't give you a zoom in because I need both hands to carry out the operation. Um, there's a white bar that you need to lift up, but it's clockwise rather than anti-clockwise this time. So yeah, once you've got that ribbon cable out, get them out of the way and we can start removing the heat sink. I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove all of the screws here. Do make sure you put them in a place where you can identify which one goes where later because some of them are different. And the heat sink itself is actually quite difficult to get off. Well, at least mine was. I think the existing thermal paste kind of sticks it in place. So I started just by using, lifting at the edges and gently tried to coax it off. But in the end, it just kind of almost flew up and hit me in the face, as you'll see. <laughs> and Razer use a lot of thermal paste on their CPU and GPU applications but it is pretty good paste it was still um, kind of clay like texture it was still liquid not set, not crusty, not lumpy um, and quite easy to remove so I started with the heat sink. I'd recommend that you do that because it gives you an idea of what it's going to be like when you're cleaning it off something a little more delicate. Uh, I'm going to link all of the products I've used for cleaning in my video description because I can't remember what they're all called. So, quite a lot of cleaning required. So, I am using um, medical swabs here. In, uh, so, I'm not using cotton buds because I didn't want to lose any fibers into the system. But this is quite a patient process. So, take your time and be as thorough as you can. The CPU is actually, that's the one I'm doing at the moment, the CPU is actually really easy. The GPU is a bit harder. But yeah, take your time, be gentle, and treat it with a, a bit of care.
I think all laptop manufacturers are, are the same in so much as that they tend to use way more thermal compound than is required and that's probably just on the proviso that it's better to have a bit too much and a bit of a mess than to have not enough because not enough would be where you result in failures. I'm just using a microfiber cloth here and trying to get as much out of that GPU, off that GPU as possible. So I'm just testing a bit of the thermal compound before I apply it, just in case it's uh, lumpy or dried up or comes shooting out real quick. Um, and I'm going for, my application is going to be just a thin line on, on each, the CPU and the GPU. I was pretty happy with that CPU application. So there's a quick close-up just to show you how much I've used. I've actually got more on the GPU than it looks because my line is actually quite tall. You might be able to see from this angle. Um, but once the um, heat sink goes on um, and pressure is applied, that stuff is going to spread. So I lined up from the right-hand side. I found it quite easy, actually. Once you line that first screw up on the the first hole up on the right hand side the rest of it, it just kind of clicks into place which is fortunate but you want to you want it to be applied in, in a downward motion to spread out the thermal compound you just give it a, a light press and then putting the machine back together is actually really straightforward This is probably the fiddliest bit is the ribbon cables. Um, you know, they do click into place and the bars on them won't click down unless they're in place properly so that's quite handy. Um, but yeah, they, you do need to give them a good wiggle to get them into the right position. Um, and the tape that I had on mine was still sticky enough to hold hold the ribbons securely in place. I did reconnect the battery for some reason. I think I must have cut it out in my video edit. So the computer's going back together. Um, I've tested it since I carried this out and it hasn't made a huge difference. So I think, um, I think it was already warming really well and I think I noticed, well, I seem to be getting a, a couple of degrees cooler, but not on both my GPU and my CPU, but certainly nothing to write home about. So I guess my message would be, if your machine is performing well, 
you really don't need to do this, but if it's not, it might be worth a shot.